this <laughs> because we're not going to remember all of our intelligent academic things as we're playing, very likely. You mean we can't just pull that out of our heads? Maybe you can. I don't <laughs> no. Like it. We should okay. have brought like a copy of our bibliography. <laughs> like, wait, as Kvitkovich this... says. <laughs> I'm Finn. And I'm Eileen. And what you're about to watch is a critical play. That is, a combined let's play and video essay of the 2015 game Life is Strange. We'll be taking a feminist approach to our criticism in order to prove what Anita Sarkeesian says in her Feminist Frequency videos, that you can be critical of a game while still enjoying it. We want to try to demystify what a feminist critique of games is and can be. Throughout our critical play, we will focus on elements of characterization, feminist and queer narratives, game mechanics, and representation, in order to explore if and how Life is Strange can be considered a feminist game. And further, whose feminism it adheres to. Our goal is to not only analyze the game's feminist aspects, but to also build a commentary that engages with the larger cultural context of gaming. Life is Strange and feminist critiques of video games do not exist in a vacuum, but are tied to much larger discussions of feminism in the gaming industry, including those related to the harassment campaign Gamergate. Many of these discussions of feminism and gaming are occurring outside of academia and do not reflect the research academics have been doing on these topics for years. By solidly placing one foot in the experience of gaming and gaming communities and the other in academic discourse, we hope to bridge these spaces in new and exciting ways that are more inclusive. Additionally, in a culture where being dedicated to gaming means being apolitical and erasing any non-dominant identity, and in a culture where only 11% of the video game industry's workforce is composed of women, we feel that as a woman and mentally ill abuse survivor, and as a queer, mentally ill, a gender person, it is imperative that we make our voices heard and show, without a doubt, that politics and a dedication to gaming are not mutually exclusive whatsoever. So anyway, let's play. Critically.